Hey, church family, uh, glad that you are watching this video, and if uh, this is your first time watching with us or you're just checking out our video, we're glad you're watching uh, as well. It's been four weeks since we've been able to be together, and as you can see, every Sunday has looked a little bit different. It's been me at a piano, Raz and I doing some stuff, got to do a little bit of outdoor worship by the cross last week, and that was fun. And uh, but, but as we kind of transition into this new season, we're going to be starting a new series called Christ, the Church, and COVID-19, where we just take some time to practically talk about the things that are going in our, on in our world and in our lives and, and how that is changing us. And one of the things I've begun to consider is um, how do we get to the other side of this uh, and have grown as worshipers uh, in our church so that when we do get to all come back together and sing and and uh, pray out loud together and read scripture together, uh, have we grown in wanting to be a part of uh, worship together? And so we're, we're shifting things up a little bit this morning. Um, there are going to be some times where I just stop and play the guitar, and I'm going to prompt you to, to pray or to even talk about some things with the, the people you're watching with. Um, but our hope is that we'll all get to the other side of this and have grown in our desire to participate in worship together. And so as we begin our time of worship together, I want to read from Psalm 96. This beautiful psalm says, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Tell of His salvation from day to day. Declare His glory among the nations, His marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. So right where you are, I want you to, to voice a prayer. Voice it out loud. Uh, if you're gathered with your family or, or roommates or, or other people, just have someone pray right now just a prayer of praise and thanksgiving for who God is. And I'm going to play and then we'll sing together. Wherever you're at, sing with me how great thou art. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to me. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to me. How great Thou art. sent him to die I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how 
sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art when we take the time to sing and, and come into god's presence uh, in worship one of the things it reminds us of is that god is big and he's glorious and mighty and it reminds us that he's holy, and we're not. We are different. We are distinct. We have chosen to rebel against God. But the good news of the gospel is that we get to come before him and to confess our sins again. I don't know about you guys, but in the midst of this season, um, as I've, I've been at home more and, and work has been challenging, and all, all of these things have begun to, to press on idols in my heart areas where I'm not in control, areas where I might would look for approval from others. And so it, it's brought me to a new place of having to confess those before God. Uh, but not just that, I'm also having to confess fears and insecurities and doubts. And before we sing this next song, I want you to take just a second. If you're at home, take a little bit of time as I play to just discuss, maybe it's with your kids or with your roommates, uh, what are some of the areas where you need to confess before the Lord? What are some things that you need to lay before him, some, some doubts and some fears that you need to verbalize? If you're at home by yourself, feel free to pick up the phone and just call someone in your community group or text it to them real quick uh, because God hears all of that, and we're called to bear one another's burdens in community. And so uh, as I begin to play, I just want to invite you to, to confess uh, before the Lord. And as we do it, I want to read. This is from Psalm 32, verses 1 through 5, as we enter into a little bit of confession. Verse 1 says, Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you. And I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. So I want to invite you to, to give voice to those, to declare those right now with those that you're with, or to text or call someone, and then we'll sing the song of confession together.
Let's sing together. Lord, we need you. Lord, we come. We confess. Bowing here, we find our rest. Without you, we fall apart. You're the one that guides us. to rise to you when temptation comes our way when we cannot stand we'll fall on you Jesus you're our hope and stay good. It's good to be able to sing and to confess all that uh, before the Lord and the fact that we do need Him, and that's what this season has been teaching us. Um, I hope it's been teaching you to run to God in His Word as well, and um, as we've already been able to read some passages together as we continue. I actually want us to read some scripture out loud together. This is going to be Psalm 115, and I'm going to be reading uh, from the ESV, and we're actually going to have the words uh, that pop up here on the screen, but there are portions of this that I want you to read out loud along with me as we declare this truth about who God is uh, in the midst of all that's going on in life right now. So again, read the underlying portions with me. Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak, eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, noses but do not smell. They have hands but do not feel, feet but do not walk, and they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. 
The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the children of man. The dead do not praise the Lord, no do any who go down into silence, but we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. I'm going to lead us in a new song this morning. We haven't had the chance to sing it as a church yet, but it's a a beautiful song about Christ being magnified in the midst of all things. I invite you to sing this with me. With a thousand tongues to lift would cry Then from north to south and east to west we hear Christ be magnified Were the whole earth echoing His name would burst from sea and sky, from rivers to the mountaintops, we'd hear cries be magnified. Sing out the chorus. Oh, Christ be magnified. be magnified in me. Oh, Christ be magnified from the altar of my life. Christ be magnified in me. In every Find its inmost melody And every human heart its native cry Oh, then in one in raptured in the praise We'll sing Christ, be magnified Oh, be magnified Stand strong and worship you. If it puts me in the fire, I'll rejoice because you're there too. I won't be formed by feelings. I hold fast to what is true. If the cross brings transformation, then I'll be crucified with you. Because death is just a doorway to resurrection life. If I join you in your sufferings, I'll join you when you rise. And when you return in glory with all the angels and the saints, my heart will still be singing, my soul will be the same. Oh, Christ be magnified, let his praise arise, Christ be magnified. 
God, we're thankful to have the ability to come to you from wherever we are at whatever time we're watching this and know that you hear our prayers, you hear our songs, you hear us reading your word aloud, and we're thankful for that. God, we pray that this time of praise has prepared us to sit under the authority of your word. God, would you instruct us, keep us, hold us fast. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.